Okay, for the VNC program, this you're going to have to download. Here's what it's going to look like. Oh, it's right there. It's the, the white one, VNC. See? Okay, how you're going to get that is if you, ha if you have 2.0. Um, I don't know if it works with any other firmware, but I'm using 2.0. You're going to go to your app store. Then whatever you get there, then you go to search. And then you go up to the top and you type in VNC. Oops. VNC. Okay, there we go. And see, it'll come up like that. And then you just click that. And then you go and you click the free, and then it'll say to install it, and you say yes, and then, then you have it on your iPod. That is all you have to do. Okay, so then whenever you get go to your um, computer and you go to the system settings and stuff, then you go connect, and then it'll um, it'll ask you to put the IP address in, and then it'll give you the port, and then um, it'll tell you to put the password in that you have in there too, and then it'll ask you ask you to Mac OS X server. So let me put it, let me turn it on real quick. Okay, so I got all this put in there already, and um, now I'm gonna go up here and click connect, and then it's gonna connect. It's negotiating. I'm gonna connect. See, it's connected to my computer because you can see right here that's what it's showing. So, turn it this way. That's exactly what it's showing. It takes a little while for it to load, but it does anyways. See, let me get out of this. Wait for it to load. See, it's floating it. Zoom out of it, see? There's my whole computer. It actually works too. Like, you click this so you can move it around. Click it again so you can move the mouse around. So, I'll show you my computer screen. I don't, can, I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah. So, I won't, I won't be touching anything down here, I swear. You can hear if I'm clicking. So. Oops. Okay, I get it. Um. Wait, it's loading what I just did. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to open up the Macintosh HD. See, it's not open right here. See how it just opened? Over here, I will click out of it. Okay, it's kind of hard to line it up. Bigger. Yeah, it'll take a little while to unload it. Okay. But basically, you can control your computer with your iPod. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, today, I'm going to show you how to. Um Use the VNC program on your iPod Touch, what you're going to have to do on your MacBook to get that working. Um, the VNC program is where you can control your MacBook with your iPod Touch. There's like a little remote. Um, you can download it either through the App Store or you can download it. Try jailbreaking it and getting it that way. Which, which, what you're going to want to do is go to System Preferences, go to Sharing. Then you're going to want to go to remote management and it will be right here where I have it blacked out. I give you the IP address of your MacBook. Um, you have to have Wi-Fi for this by the way. Just let you know. Um, to where you can, the IP address that you put in your 
iPod Touch, and then you go to Computer Settings, and then um, you type a password in right there. It'll ask you to authentic authenticate it, and then there you go. So you put that in your iPod Touch too. And um, that's all you do. Thanks for watching my video, and leave comments and subscribe. Can't believe it's over. I'll watch the whole thing fall. And I never saw the writing that was on the wall If I'd only lose